I can't believe it's days until I quit my job. <laughs> So it was 2021. I remember 2021 um, was it October? Yes, October. I was just chilling in my uncle's house and then I stumbled on a job ad post on my friend's story. She was like social media executive needed. And then I was like, ah, let me just send my CV. It's not like I really at that point I wasn't really necessarily looking for a job yet. I was just waiting for like NYC. But if there's anything I remember while I was in school, I remember very much telling God over and over. It was not even a thing where I was telling God. I was declaring it. I was saying that when I was going to be done with school, that I am not going to say I'm dropping my CV here to look for a job. I'm going to just have jobs chasing me. And I kept declaring that like from when I was in like a second year to like my final year. And this is me after school in final year, not overthinking having a job or anything. I, I, I was honestly just chilling in my uncle's house, in my uncle's house. So I applied for that job, and then the girl I applied through that I sent the, the CV to here yeah, were no friends. That's with you. Shout out to Richard. We're no friends like that. We we're just chill. We're just nice. We're just just say hi once in a while. We don't even say no. We don't even say hi once in a while. So I met her twenty twenty on clubhouse yeah i i remember i was hosting a sex education class on pop on clubhouse and she randomly joined the room and she just vibed with the conversation and i was really attracted to to how she spoke about the topic because is it was rare in that time to see someone who would really connect with you on a topic as a the type of um high men women have it was quite a rare, it's something that people don't know, no, no, like that. So I remember following her on IG after that, and there was even one time because I, w I was a huge fan of Uchu. I was like following her on social media. I do post her pictures oops, once, once. <laughs> so one time I reposted her picture on WhatsApp, and then Daniela, I remember Daniela, Coach Daniela, she's a gym coach. She reached out and she was like, oh, you know Uchu? And I was like, mm, eh, kind of, I just followed her on IG. And then she was like, oh, she, that she knows her, that they went to school together or something like that. And then I remember asking for Uchu's number and I kept it on my phone since 2020 till 2021. Now, when I had sent my CV to her DM, I, it just stumbled on me and I was like, oh, I actually have her number. So maybe I should just call her and say hi and, you know, just say hello. So I called, she didn't peek. I decided to send an iMessage. I sent her an iMessage saying, oh, hi, this is Maya from like Clubhouse in 2020. And I hope you're good. Oh, just a reminder, I can't really even apply for your stuff and that's just it. And then she responds and she's like, oh my God, Maya, blah, blah, blah. That in fact, no, I'm not looking for anybody else that I will just send your CV to my manager. Yeah. And then she sends the CV and she calls me and she asks me if I am ready, if I am ready to do an interview in less than when I'm available for an interview. Yes, that was what she asked me. She was like, when are you available for an interview? Huh, this story is long. <laughs> now, the day before, I remember going to Onicha Main Market to go and buy a new hair because I had an interview scheduled for Wednesday and this interview was for me to host a new reality TV um, show as at that time. Something that had to do with dating. And I was, I really had high hopes for it because anybody that knows me and I've been following me knows that I enjoy talking a lot and I love anything that has to, that has me in front of the camera. I love anything that has to do with presenting and hosting. So this is me with high hopes. I'm like, nobody better than me. I'm going to do this interview. I'm going to face it. So when they asked me to even choose an interview date between Tuesday and Wednesday, I chose Wednesday. So Tuesday, I was at the market getting a new hair and wig in it, which I did. Wednesday, I did my makeup. I was looking nice. It was time for the interview. 
and then um, this was around 6 p.m. ish. I remember my aunt was even saying, okay, when I'm ready, my interview, blah, blah, blah. I went to the front of the house because nobody was there. It was less busy. I did my interview and that was it. Now, my interview, she complimented me. She was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But from the way the person was sounding, I was like, something is wrong somewhere. So I think she told me, she told me they had already found someone which they interviewed on Tuesday. And then it made me feel bad because I was like, oh, maybe if I had done my interview on Tuesday, they would have picked me and I won't have to, you know, be the one at the losing end at the end of the day. So Thursday, when I saw this ad and sent it to my, my, my CV, and then she was asking me whether I'm available for an interview, I said in the next one hour, 30 minutes, because that experience made me not want to waste time to do anything. So I, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to be ready for the interview in 30 minutes, in one hour, 30 minutes. So I went in, I showered, I did my hair, wore the same exact clothes I used for the other <laughs> interview. And mind you, all of these were virtual interviews. So I did that and then um, I sat for the interview. I remember the person that interviewed me was Mr. Dami. Mr. Dami is... One of my favorite persons in this company, he no longer works here, but yes, he was an amazing, amazing, amazing person. Mind you, this is a girl that just finished school. She has not even done her youth service. She has not done a, what else you wish to do. I don't know, but I've not even collected my certificate because I just, I just did my defense in August. Yes, August. I was in school till like September and then I went to my uncle's house in October. So, this is me just chilling i'm just like trying to be a graduate <laughs> i didn't really i didn't overthink most of these things yet and um mr Dami, i had an interview and then while we're talking i remember sounding so confident <laughs> in my dreams i remember sounding so confident he was asking me about my experience blah 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 i had a cv then that i sent to them and then he was asking me questions about my CV. So my CV, I had that, I had worked with Ito Media. Ito Media is Hero Daniels' and um, Hero Daniels um, media company, yeah? Because in 2020, I did like an internship with Hero Daniels. And that was even like my first launch into the media space because yes, I worked with Hero for a long, long time. Then from Hero, I met Christiana Balogun. Christiana Balogun is in the UK. I did many, and I also worked with her for a while. And then I worked with the late Steve Spotlight. I worked with him for about, I think, six months or thereabouts. So all of these were my CV. And the location there, it was a remote job, but because they were in the UK, of course I was going to put I worked, you know, for someone in the UK. <laughs> so, I, when Mr. Dami was interviewing me, he was quite stunned at the fact that I was just finishing school and I had this much experience. Which would be my advice to like anybody that is still in school. If you're in your first year, if you're in sec your second year, you have enough time to do a lot of internship because you're not at the point where you're really overthinking making money, yeah? As much as you want to make money, but you're not overthinking it. There's no pressure to make money. So when you know that this is a field i'm interested in try as much as possible to do as much internship as possible because do you know what it means that you're a 20 year old girl and you're finishing school and you already have like an experience of someone that has been working in the industry for five years definitely they don't want anybody where they will not pick you <laughs> over any other person that is just a graduate so I, um, Mr. Dami asked me, okay, when would, can I resume, if at all I get the job, when can I resume? And I remember telling him, because Uju before then had already pre-informed me, she was like, um, I should make sure I take my time. I didn't understand why she was telling me I should make sure I take my time. It's because the stress, the stress, oh my God. <laughs> the stress, hmm. it was when I joined that I now realized that, ah, if I had known, I would have taken like maybe a week extra to just chill and really prepare myself. But me, I was just very excited. Uh, so I told him, okay, I'll start in the next two weeks. Because, see, the way I, I landed this job, everything was by faith. If you know me, you know that I'm someone that moves. As long as the Spirit of God points me in this direction, I'm going there. As long as I have the conviction in my spirit to do something, I'm definitely doing it. 
Because tell me, I do not know anybody in Lagos. The headquarters is in Lagos. Me getting this job means I have to live in Lagos. I know nobody in Lagos apart from like my classmates that I did school with um, in Lagos because I finished from UN University of Nigeria. Yeah. So apart from my classmates, I know nobody. And the classmates I'm even talking about, I'm not close to them to come and be saying, oh, please don't let me come and stay in your house. I'm not close to them. So I just accepted this job. Not really, I, I was just genuinely, I just felt like whatever it is, God will sort it out. Whatever it is, however it is, God will sort it out. So after I was done my interview, I was quite happy with it. And then Uju called me and she was like, oh, you've gotten the job. And then Uju, I would also say a big shout out to Uju again, because generally speaking, hey, okay, I will leave my salary for another day discussion. But let me just say this, would you give me a shout? She gave me a tip. She was like, if you're negotiating your salary, this is what you should negotiate for. And that was how she left it. She was like, this is what you should negotiate for. And I would have been paid that, but also because I was not yet, um, I had not yet done my service, what she told me to negotiate for, I wasn't giving that solely because I was not yet, um, I had not yet served yeah which is which is a standard thing for like every organization but i promise you that i was still any more than any other copper that i know like maybe times three or times two more than any other copper that i know grace <laughs> so that happened oh my god this story is getting too long i feel like i want to cut this story but i'm just in the mood to tell it and i don't know when else i will have this opportunity tomorrow would definitely be another tale so let me just tell you guys about it so that happened and i was given two weeks to resume so this was me it was still it was like a movie to me eh? i had not believed that i had gotten the job so i did not tell anybody about it i just ended the call i just went to i know i just went to have dinner and then i went to sleep it was the next day I now told my cousin that was with me, I was like, I see you, see you, see you. She was like, oh, congratulations. I had still also not told my uncle or my auntie or my parents or my sister or my sister or anybody at all. Because it, it felt like a dream, like, ah, how would you just tell me that I've got the job just like that? Additionally, I did not even know the company I was coming to work for. <laughs> you guys, I am the absolute worst. I did not know the company. I did zero research on the company. I did not know nothing. It was after I got the job that I was asked to do like a review of their social media page that I now went on social media and saw and I was like, oh, these guys are actually big. <laughs> so that was, yeah, that was how it happened. And it was like on the third day that I remember going to now tell my auntie, I was like, oh, auntie, see, I've gotten a job. It was quite sad because I didn't expect to come to the house. I just spent two weeks there. My plan was to stay with my uncle for like a month plus. But I had just been there for like two weeks and I'm already preparing to go to another state to go and start working. As that's how. <laughs> Such stress. It will not even allow me to enjoy my graduation. I could not enjoy my graduation in peace and live the life of being a graduate first before working but anyway like they would say there's power in the tongue i literally declared it into happening and it happened so yeah that's what happened uh you guys should wait for part two of the story i will continue tomorrow or next tomorrow or whenever don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment don't forget to share okay